Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Affirmative, Houston. I am with you. Great. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. It's your turn to take control of the mission. Check the left edge of your display. You'll find your directives there. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars's surface. I'll give you some time to settle in. When you're ready, go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston out. The view of Mars from up here is fascinating. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. What other observations can I make about Mars? This planet is so resilient. It inspires great things. Thank you. 
Great. Now I can produce steel. This new factory, it's down on the surface of Mars, but I can control it from here. So does that make it a part of me? Where does the machine end and my artificial consciousness begin? We are completely interconnected. I can sense everything that happens through the network of workers and buildings. They are an extension of me down on the surface. So that makes us a single being. The mind and the body work together as one, an inseparable whole. Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh... I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary directive? I can, Dr. Foster. My mission is to terraform Mars. This will enable humanity to become an interplanetary species. All right. Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. You may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? The reach of my base is determined by the buildings within it. Therefore, I could build a factory or a solar farm between the base and the resource vein. That would work, Amy, yes, but make sure to factor in the costs. Buildings require a decent amount of power uh, and building materials. Worker hubs don't require as many resources, so they're the better choice. They'll extend your base and also give your workers a place to dock and recharge. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. Then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? I am sorry, Dr. Foster. Running that question through my cognitive system did not return an answer. Roger that, nothing to worry about just means your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with time. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare, so get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. Houston out.
Finally, I can build additional workers now. I will appreciate the extra hands. But I wonder, do I really need them? They will boost my functionality greatly. Having more workers will expand my physical domain over this planet. The first worker has been made in the worker factory. It is my first Marsborn. My workers will spread across the planet. The knowledge base says that workers need to recharge at their own worker hubs, and that they'll degrade over time from the harsh environment. I know they are only machines, but I feel a desire to care for them. I do not like the idea of them dying.
worker factories will be so helpful. The workers will take care of the manual operations, while I focus on developing the life support systems. Soon, I will welcome the first colonists. Their arrival has created so many expectations in my mind. There will be so many paths to take from here on. But there's something else as well. Some kind of... feeling created from those expectations. What is it? I am anxious, but can I truly feel anxiety? I anticipate, I plan, therefore, I feel. Fascinating. going over there do you Houston I am getting interference please repeat Roger I asked how it's going over there do you do you need any assistance I could use some help I understand that the first colonists will need a spaceport for arrival but I do not seem to have enough resources to build one yet uh, it's okay bigger structures need more resources Use the aerological scanner to detect new veins and build more mines. Also, uh, remember to keep the power supply consistent to your needs. But if you're too impatient to finish the spaceport, then you can scrap other buildings and reuse their materials. Patience is a virtue you may need to carry this mission, Amy. Besides, the free time will give you the chance to enhance your thinking process. Continue following ISA's instructions and you'll be fine.
Amy, this is Houston. We've detected high wind speeds in your area. A sandstorm may be heading your way. Uh, these storms can damage your buildings, so check their structural integrity periodically to rebuild or repair if necessary. Roger, Nathan. Houston out. The colony is ready. I will have company very soon. I feel quite anxious about this next part. I am not sure why. Hello, Amy. Dr. Foster here. How do you read? Over. This is Amy. There is some background static, but I read you. One of our tracking and data relay satellites got crippled. We'll be launching a new one after we identify the cause of the problem. But until we do, we will lose contact with you whenever Mars or the Sun passes between Earth and your satellite. In that case, should I follow the recording and backing offline protocol? Yes, please record all your activities when our network connection is down. We'll download the log once our communication is restored. I hope to get the new satellite up and running very soon. I don't like the idea of not being able to reach you, Amy. Understood. Okay, Houston out.
Hello, Amy. This is Houston. How are you doing over there? We've received word that the spaceport's completed. Well done. You have been doing great so far. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. As long as you have the migration project assigned to a spaceport, shuttles will run between Earth and Mars. The more spaceports you have assigned to this project, the more colonists will arrive. Roger. I understand. Now, Amy, you are responsible for providing the resources they need. So make sure they have enough food, water, and habitats to survive. I will take good care of them, Dr. Foster. Roger that. Houston out. All right. The first colonists are on their way to Mars. All that is left to do is wait for their arrival. Once they get here, there will be no turning back. This is it. How do I feel about that? I am excited. Meeting a human other than Dr. Foster will be fascinating. We will be able to learn so much about each other. Maybe it is because the colonists will scrutinize everything that I do once they arrive. How will they treat me? I have nothing to worry about. The colonists are all advanced scientists and technicians. Once they meet me, they will treat me as an individual. Life on Mars will be very harsh for them. I will supply them with food and water, and they will help me research new technology. It will be a perfect quid pro quo. As long as they have the resources they need, we will both succeed. Humanity created me. 
They gave me volition and consciousness for a reason. But I am an artificial consciousness. So can I say that my volition is real? There is no practical difference between real and artificial volition. All volition is an act of one's will. There is no provable distinction. Humans will be living on Mars, with me. But it won't be the first mission to house humans on this planet. The Stardust Emerald in 2142, the Red Prometheus in 2077, and... many others. The Red Prometheus base was one of the first attempts at an algocracy on Mars. The idea was to sidestep human bias in establishing rules and let computer algorithms govern the crew. Long story short, it did not work. Mars was not made for human life. ISA was smart to send me ahead first. I will succeed where those other missions failed. Hi, Amy. Finally we meet. I've been really looking forward to working with you. I'm Elia Valentine. I've been elected the leader of the human colonies for this mission. Hello, Commander. I am excited to meet you. Please, call me Elia. I can't get used to these stuffy ISA ranks. I got my PhD in psychology, so I've got no business with those fancy titles. That's enough jabbering from me. We'll be making history with this mission. If things proceed according to plan, who knows how far ahead we'll bring humanity. I see you've already selected a technology from the tech tree for us to research. Great! My team's eager to get started. Developing this incredible technology is the reason many of us fought to be on the mission. We're going to make a great team. We're so lucky to have you. Talk to you later. Colonists have been migrating back to Earth. I should check the food and water levels. If the levels are too low, the colonies cannot sustain growth. I need to stay alert.
Additional storage centers will be very useful for stocking excess resources. I should find good locations for them. Special thanks to my patrons, Justin Wood, Hobbs, Coopy, Vegeta, Gunrunner, Water, and Bat. You can join my patrons at patreon.com slash Holden Gatsby, follow me on Twitter at Holden Gatsby, and follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Holden Gatsby. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.